Welcome back, my loves. going bad because nobody's come to buy it. What a disaster. Alright, now we have to go look for our red book. Hello. Stay where you are. This is Stanley's territory. What do you want? <coughs> do you have a big book with nothing written in it? big book with nothing written in it. What sort of book is that? No, I don't have anything like that. And even if I did, I wouldn't give it to you. What are you looking for? Anything that might be interesting or useful. And if I find a blow-up doll, that would be sweet. Wow. Wow. What are those things over there? An inflatable bed, a collection of videotapes, a video game console, and a newspaper. And it's all mine, so don't get any closer. Is that your cat? He's my buddy. He's getting some food ready. I'll leave you to it. Good. of those photo booths. You go in and the machine takes photos of you and makes prints of them. <laughs> Wicked. Nice. Comic Sans. <laughs> R for Revenge. <laughs> Captain Canada. This place is full of stuff for geeks. References. And the games. Hamtaro! Aww! One Punch Man. I'm here for it. Sorry, just reading all these. <laughs> you something. Go for it. Do you by any chance have a comic with blank pages? With blank pages? What do you mean? So yeah, a comic with blank pages with nothing printed on them. Hmm. I don't think so. All the comics I have are normal with writing. Sorry. Oh well. Thanks anyway. No problem. Hello. Are you a geek? Well, I'm massively into video games. I've read a lot of manga. I love superhero movies. I collect all sorts of figures. And I hang out with my friends every night to try out new board games. So yeah, I suppose you could say I'm a geek. I'm out of here. Okay, see you later. basketball or hoops, something like that. Hi. Hello. I see you're giving the bird lots to eat. You're not fattening them up so you can eat them, are you? Of course not. Why would you think that? I'm giving him his treats. It's been a while since he's had them. I'm out of here. Okay, take care. I'm pretty sure you don't have anything to help me. I don't know who lives there. Let's go somewhere else.
That's where my friend Nico mm. lives. Hi, Mrs. Allen. Is Nico home? Hello? Don't waste your time. She can't hear you. Oh. What's wrong with Nika's bum? The usual. She's addicted to trash TV. As soon as this rubbish comes on the TV, she sinks into the sofa and disconnects from the world. Looks to me like you're enjoying it too. Well, you know, <clears throat> I don't want to watch them, but they're like a hard drug. If you start watching one, that's it. There's no escape. Good job, I brought enough seeds for the whole afternoon. Be careful. It's really dangerous. If I was you, I'd stop watching before it's too late. But this program is boring. That's what I said at the beginning, and here I am. But at least I can still speak. Not like Mrs. Allen. She's definitely lost. Anyway, whatever. I didn't come here to watch the TV. Is Nika here? Yeah, she's upstairs in her room messing around with her things like every afternoon. Okay, thanks. Hurry up. Get away from the TV before it traps you. <laughs> Grumpy cat. <laughs> like Tesla poster. Kira Batman. Oh. Hammer? I would like the hammer. Maybe Nika is using that to work on that thing with the lights. Hey Nika. Hey Agatha. Why aren't you at the butchers? Well, I wanted to get some fresh air. I was passing your house so I thought it'd be cool if I'd come to say hi. Is that it? Come on, it looks like you wanted to ask me something. Will you lend me your hammer? Sure, just take it. You read a lot of books, right? Yeah, I love to read. But only fun books. Ones about mechanics, electronics, and technology. The rest are no use to anyone. Do you have a blank book? A blank book? Do you mean a notebook? No, a book. A fat one with lots of pages, all of them blank. Uh, and the cover needs to be red. Well, no. Why would I have a, bl a blank book? That would be pretty stupid. I guess, but I need one for something. I got some history books which are super boring and I don't want them. They've got loads of pages. Do you want them? I'll give them to you. No thanks. I'll keep looking. Damn, I almost got rid of them. Sorry, I had a yawn. <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> I'm working on a project. For school? Well, it's for school, especially for the director and my teacher. But also it's a project for my parents and my brother. For everyone that goes on the TV and says stupid things. For tacky things and repetitive video games. For programmed abs obsolescence and stripped screws. For those and loads of other things. But what's the project about? I can't tell you. Why? It's a secret. Okay. I tried to speak to your mom, but she doesn't say anything. She's watching the TV, right? Don't even bother. That woman is a mess. Her brain's all shriveled up. I'll leave you with your... Computer? Yep, computer, desktop, super awesome machine, call it what you want. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> Must be one of Nika's inventions. Alright, we're not gonna worry about that right now. Nika probably stories, stores her weird stuff in there. I doubt she has anything I need. Let's 
let's keep exploring. Oh wait, not yet. I just remember. There's a piggy bank back at the butcher's and I probably need the hammer to smash it. Let's go back to the butcher's and then we'll keep exploring. All that's left of our last pig. Yep, piggy bank. Uh, hammer. We can break things with that hammer, although I'm more into gutting things. I've saved more than I thought. find a bookstore or a library or something. Gossiping. I don't think I've ever seen them at the butchers. I guess it's because they do all the shopping at that supermarket. I don't like them. So then we'll just leave them alone, dear. The burger restaurant isn't open yet. Let's try again later. that cat wandering the streets loads of times. Poor thing. I think he's been abandoned. If I could take if I could I'd take him back to the abattoir with me. But my mom won't let me keep animals that we can't eat. I will right, we'll try that later. I'm on a mission. cramped in there. <clears throat> a bit, yeah. That's what happens when you're as fat as I am. Wow. Do you want a lottery ticket or what? That's like burning money, right? What? My friend Nika says that playing the lottery is like burning money. Well, it's not always like that. Have you ever played the fat black cat lottery? No. Okay, I'll explain how it works. The draw is happening soon, but you can still take part. First, you buy the tickets. You can buy one or a few, but you can only do it once. Once you've bought the tickets, you can't buy any more, so you can only play once. Then at some point, the fat black cat will make the draw, and if your ticket comes up, you win loads of money. And if my ticket doesn't win, well, you'll have set fire to your money, just like your friend said. If you want a better chance of winning, then you need to buy more tickets, and that's that. But think about it first before you spend your money, because like I said, you can only do it once. Do I need to decide now? Oh no, you can do it now or later. Although the fat black cat is going to make the draw anytime now, 
So if I were you, I wouldn't take too long to decide. You up for it or what? Not now. I don't want to buy a lottery ticket right now. Okay, your shout. If you change your mind, I'll be right here. But don't take too long or you'll miss the draw. What's this fat black cat? It's the prison system lottery which supports fat misfits. Hmm. And are you a fat misfit? Yes. Is this your prison? Yes, this little house is a confinement unit for the inmates at the center. But why have they put you in here? Well, let me explain. It turns out that the government is putting fat people who don't want to exercise or go on a diet in prison. What? They say we are a threat because our lifestyle is a bad example to children that were really expensive for the healthcare system, take up too much room, contribute to global warming, and don't smell great. Fucking wow. So as punishment, they put us in these units and make us sell fat black cat lottery tickets until our dying day. Oh. Anyway, it's not so bad. Those of us who are also bald and hairy are classified as being high-risk ugly obese. They are sentenced to death because they are just too dangerous. I feel sorry for you. Only a little bit though. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm happy watching other people walk by. I'll never be able to do that again because I won't ever leave this box. Although before they imprisoned me, I couldn't walk anyway. I just rolled. I just rolled. Wow. I'm going. I've got things to do. Okay, see you later then. Hope the fat black cat brings you luck. We're just gonna walk away now. Ooh, what's this? Looks like a library. It is a library. I have one of those flyers. Hello. Hello, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a book with lots of pages. Well, it won't be hard to find one in the library. On the next floor, there are lots of books, and most of them have lots of pages. Okay, but I need one that doesn't have anything written in it. A blank book? Yes. I don't think we have a book like that, but you can use a computer upstairs to search for it. That machine most definitely has a better memory than me, and I'm sure it'll help you find what you're looking for. Okay, I'll take a look then. Maybe you'll be lucky. By the way, why do you need a blank book? None of your business. What are you doing? Well, I want to do some photocopying, but I can't. Why not? Isn't that thing over there a photocopier? Yes, but it's locked. You need an access card to use it. Ah, and who has the card? Me. Well, I'm supposed to have it. You're supposed to have it. Because I'm the new person in charge of equipment and stock at the library. But I lost it. Well, more like, I can't remember where I put it. In brief, I don't know where it is. Actually, I do know where it is, but I don't know how to find it. Well, I do know how to find it, but I don't want to go and look for it. Because if I go and look for it and I find it, I'm sure I'll lose it again. Although I haven't lost it, I've just forgotten where I left it. Okay, okay, stop talking. You're giving me a headache. Sorry, I'm just a bit anxious. It's my first day on the job and I've already lost the access card. Help me. I can't, I've got things to do. Please. No. And don't make that face. It reminds me of my animals. If you don't help me, I'll get fired. I don't care. Do you really not care? Yes. Well, if it well, it's just that I've got more important things to do. 
pretty, please. <sighs> You're so annoying. Okay, tell me what you need, but I'm not promising anything. Brill. I just need you to find my access card and bring it to me. But if you don't know where you left it, how am I going to find it? Well, I recall that this morning I left the card between the pages of one of the books in the library. Inside a book? Yes, I was looking through the bookcases and I found a really old book covered in dust. It appeared that no one had looked at it for a long time. I figured it would be a good idea to store the card there. That way I'd always know where it was and no one would find it. But my plan has backfired now because I've forgotten which book it was and I can't find it. Wouldn't it have been easier to keep it in your pocket? Maybe, but I don't have any clothes with pockets. And don't you have a computer that can tell you which books are the least looked at? Yes, there's one on the first floor. But I've got a phobia of computer screens, so I can't use it. You're very strange. And where's your boss? My boss is the lady next to the entrance. And why don't you just ask her for a new card? Because if she finds out I've lost the card, she'll fire me. I need to make a good impression and do what she asks of me. This afternoon, I'm supposed to do some photocopying and organize the storeroom. But without the card, I can't do any of it. So you'll help me? Well, I'll take a look and see if I can find your card. Thanks. I'm going. Got things to do. But let me know if you find my card, okay? STFU. <laughs> nice. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Okay, it says we can use it to find books in the library. So if I type in the name of a book, it will tell me the aisle and bookcase where I can find it. Useful. Let's see. Let's look at blank book. Hmm. I'm going to search for blank book. No results. The man at the photocopier told me he hid the card in an old dusty book. Like it hadn't been read for ages. I'll search for the least looked at books and see what comes up. Okay, the books people are least interested in are Dictionary, which is in the Literature Aisle, Bookcase 3D, Roadmap of Atlantis in Bookcase 2A in the Geography section, How to Make Your Own Destroyer Robot in Bookcase 1D in the Science Aisle. And that's it. Those are the three that come up. That'll do for now. Okay. So I'm pretty sure he wasn't looking at the dictionary. Let's try the robot book first. The manual for constructing your own robot should be here somewhere. It's one of the least looked at books in the library. And that over there, is that a note? Let's see, let's see. I can't find any book called How to Build Your Own Destroyer Robot. Hmm, let's take a look at that piece of paper. It's a handwritten note. If you're looking for the book on constructing your own robot, sorry I've taken it. I hope the access card wasn't in that book. I hope so too. Now let's try geography. Let's set two. Oh wait, I might have done that wrong. Well, we'll see.
according to the library computer, there's a book here that hardly ever gets looked at. Oh, wait, no. It said geography. Yeah, it said geography. Okay. I'm a goober. We should take a look and see if the man's photocopy card is in there. That roadmap to Atlantis book should be here somewhere. Cool. I found it. Let's see. Awesome. The access card. I'll keep hold of it and leave the book where it is. So I don't need to go look at the dictionary. Oh, art section. Cool. Who are you? Hello. What's up? I'm looking for a blank book. A blank book? Yes. You meant to say with you mean to say with blank pages? Yes. Not just pages, but lots of pages. Yes. Like the one I have right here? That's right. Yep. Will you give it to me? No. Why not? You're not reading anything. There's nothing written in it. Why do you want it? Just because you don't see anything doesn't mean there's nothing written. What do you mean? You'll discover it in time, or maybe not. But we don't need to worry about that now. This book is not for you to use as a sacred book of carnivorism, Agatha. Whoa. Whoa. You know me? How do you know about carnivorism? Are you friends with Sandro? Pretty much. But it doesn't matter. Don't worry, just trust me. To find your sacred book, you need to look somewhere. You need to look elsewhere. But I just met you. I don't know if I can trust you. You only just met Sandro and you trust him, right? Yes, but Sandro is helping me create carnivorism. I am too. And if you heed my words, you'll find your sacred book. And if I don't find it? You will. Don't worry. You're smarter than you think. Believe me. I've seen that face somewhere before. I recognize you from somewhere. Hmm. Have you ever been to the knife butchers? No, I usually buy meat from the supermarket. Oh, you're one of them. Yes, but don't look at me like that. I love meat rare too. Are you sure? If you like meat so much, why don't you buy it from, the, from a proper butcher's? Do you like it when housewives start gossiping in the store? Hmm. Well, I don't. And that's why I don't go to the butchers. Well, also because it's usually more expensive. And the life of an independent video game developer is tough. So I'm hoping you get on with lots and lots of people. You have a blast on the religion creating course and achieve the creation of carnivorism with Sandro's help. If all, if all that happens, I'll be able to enjoy a decent steak more often. Although, I'll have it delivered so I don't have to talk to anyone. I believe in you, Agatha. How do you know about my religion? I'm jo- <gasps> Jordy from Mango Protocol! Oh, that's so cool! You can say that I know everything about you. Mis compañeros, Mariana y Javi. So, Jordi. Yeah. Y yo somos los creadores del curso que estás haciendo. So, if I can translate this correctly. Uh, Mariana and Javi, my companions, or companions, co-workers, I think companions, and I pretty much saying they're Agatha's creators. If I translated that correctly. Hopefully I did. <laughs> We've been talking to Sandro so that he can help you create your own religion. But I thought the creator of the course was the man that signed me up. Who? The one with the makeup on his face and the fireplace in his office. Next to the little wooden house where Sandro was hiding. Ah yes, Master Mans Manson. Oh my god, I thought so. I didn't want to say it, but I thought so. He and Sandra are, are our collaborators. Ah. 
Anyway, that's why I know so much about you. Right. So how's the course going? So far so good? Yes, I think so. It'd been ages since I spent time outside the butchers, and I'm enjoying it. Although I prefer to be- I prefer being with my animals. Okay, well, I'm sure you'll have the back room at the store full of friends again soon enough. You seem to know a lot about my religion, so I was wondering if you could give me some advice. Well, my advice is that you keep your eyes open wherever you go. Listen well to all the people you speak to. And don't obsess over the things that are out of your reach. You probably don't need them. I'm out of here. Excellent. Good luck. That is so cool. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Stan Lee. Aww. That's cool. I love little Easter eggs like that. That's awesome. Also, I hope my Spanish was not too rusty. But, my sweets, we will continue this adventure on our next episode. I'm really enjoying this game, as weird as it is. Um, but yes, thank you so much for joining me. If you like what you saw, by all means, smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll meet you back here for more shenanigans and insanity. Take care of yourselves. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Mwah.